<sighs> and welcome to another episode here at Jaws Podiatry. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> Today's case, um, I think this is a great case, and I'll tell everyone why. Clinical presentation, plantar fasciitis, a.k.a. heel pain, a.k.a. plantar fasciosis. In Spanish, el espolón. I'm sure a lot of people will relate to that one. Um, definitely in the world of podiatry and what we do here, heel pain is definitely top three clinical presentations that we do treat. Um, in addition to, this is a new patient again, and the patient has presented with uh, a significant amount of pain to the left heel. Um, several years ago, she was also diagnosed with, uh, until proven otherwise, the same. And she had two procedures done that did eliminate the pain. It's been a couple of years, and for whatever reason now, she has presented not only with heel pain, but also pain uh, to the region of the ankle. Uh, the patient uh, verbatim feels that my ankle is rolling inwards, and that's a red flag. So we'll also take care of, of that problem. But uh, primarily, what we're going to go ahead and do, the patient is leaving to Hawaii in two weeks. So we're very limited in what we can do. Uh, I did speak to the uh, to the patient. Uh, the patient is actually very, very in tune with all the different treatments, conservative uh, versus a little bit of the surgical uh, side. So that makes it a lot easier for for me to have a consultation with the patient and talk about uh, what would be best uh, for the actual clinical presentation today. What we're essentially doing today is an ultrasound guided heel uh, pain injection, cortisone injection to try to locally alleviate the discomfort. As everyone knows, I've said it before, I'm not super duper fond of cortisone, uh, just because I think there's also a time and a place. But um, because of the fact that she's going away, uh, we wanna try to minimize that discomfort so she can enjoy her vacation. What are we going to do? We're gonna give the patient the cortisone injection today. She's gonna to go to her uh, on her vacation. She's gonna come back. We spoke to the patient about a possible platelet-rich plasma, AKA PRP injection, in conjunction with what, uh, with what I've uh, said to everyone before, and we've done it before live, a percutaneous microtenotomy, uh, also known as the acupuncture or the dry needling or the microfenestration of the ligament. And lastly, we did speak about performing a minimally invasive a plantar fasciotomy in conjunction with the platelet-rich plasma. So uh, the patient will definitely, again, um, she she does understand some of the uh, procedures that we did, dis uh, did discuss today, but she will do uh, also her own due diligence to make sure that uh, she feels comfortable with everything that we have discussed today. So without further ado, we're gonna uh, go ahead and proceed with the injection. If you want, come around here. Okay, and just going back to the other um, uh, clinical presentation, the patient has a lot of pain right here, right? And we have a very important tendon called the posterior tibial tendon, posterior tibial tendon. And this is the ligament that actually, the tendon, I'm sorry, that holds, that holds the arch, right? And she feels that the ankle is rolling. When it starts to roll, that is not good. That means that there's a possibility that the tendon is actually stretching, not good. So for that, as well as for the heel pain, it's kind of like a plus, we'll go ahead and immobilize the lower extremity with a cam walker for the next two weeks before she goes on her vacation. Because we want her to have a great time. Okay? So, like always, we'll inject a little bit of, uh, like always, we use our ultrasound. And... <clears throat> You know, for the last several years, there you go. You know, for the last several years, a lot of people have asked me, you know, why the ultrasound? You know where the ligament is. You know where the inflammation is. Why use the ultrasound? The ultrasound allows us not only to visualize the affected area, but allows us to deliver the medication to the specific location. 
it is becoming the standard of care, right? Rheumatologists, orthopedic surgeons, non-surgical orthopedic surgeons, phys uh, physiatrists, everyone is using ultrasounds for proper guidance. And there we go. So now we're gonna do a little bit of cold spray right there. Nope, nope, right there in the red spot. Excellent, a little pinch, here we go. I'm looking at my screen there, there we go, perfect, and here we go. When I tell the patient there's a burning, a lot of burning, a lot of burning, a lot of burning. Sorry about that. This is probably the worst part of my job easily. I do not like, I do not like inflicting discomfort on my patients. I just don't. Just a quick recap. New patient, plantar fasciitis, inflammation of the longest ligament of the foot, also known as the plantar fascia. We gave the patient a little cortisone injection today under ultrasound guidance for acute pain management. That's what we did. We're gonna mobilize the area, ice, anti-inflammatory, we spoke about that. And uh, you know, the patient will go on her vacation. Hopefully, you know, the cortisone is sort of like a, what I like to call a hit or a miss. Um, it can last a day, a week, a month. You know, I'll take any, you know, we were talking about how do we define success. If I can get the area to feel better, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50%, that's how I define success. So she'll leave feeling 50% better. And that's a good thing. It's 50% it's better mm -hmm. than it was before. Uh, like always, www.jawspediatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojam. Facebook, Jaws Podiatry, and last but not least, our YouTube channel. I continue to stress everyone, there's content that we cannot post on Facebook, that we post there, fantastic videos. Yeah. Jaws Healthcare YouTube channel, like always, thank you for following.